Okay, now that the underside boards are complete, we can take a look at the top side boards. The first one we're going to look at is the RF power supply. This is the power supply for the tuner, of course, and it provides regulated negative 12, positive 13, and positive 5 volts. Uh, the actual current ratings are unknown, and really, we don't really care, as long as they're not being exceeded in blowing out these transistors here. Fortunately, that hasn't happened. The only thing that's wrong with it is bad, old, and nasty caps that are probably going bad. Definitely this one. More on that in a sec. And, of course, I'm going to replace the thermal compound on those three transistors that are on heat sinks just to provide a little extra longevity. As you can see, the uh, board is pretty dirty, and it's actually dirtier than I thought. This has actually been blown off with compressed air, and it's still just absolutely filthy. It's quite a bit dirtier than the camera captures. So the first step when you're going to immersion clean a board is to remove any components that cannot be immersion cleaned. And in this case, there was a potentiometer there that isn't fully open air, so it'll collect water and hold water, and that's definitely not good. So that had to be removed. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make a capacitor map. Just a little piece of paper with the locations of each capacitor. That allows me to desolder them all at once and then repopulate the board with fresh capacitors all at once just by looking at a sheet of paper. Nice handy little thing to do and it generally works best for small boards like this. Making a cap map for a larger board can be a very time consuming process and it is generally faster just to go cap by cap but when you've got a relatively small board the cap map process is faster. We do have some of that nasty urethane assembly glue on these larger caps. That'll be scraped off as needed. But around here we've got, an, in addition to assembly glue, we've got some extra residue. And it looks like that's actually kind of moist and... Or at least it was once moist. And that tells me that cap may actually be leaking. Never mind. That's why we're immersion cleaning it and replacing the capacitors. So. Both concerns will be alleviated by this operation, and the next video will focus on the actual cleaning of this board.